Hello, today I'm here with a new first impression. I know there's a lot of first impressions right now on my channel, but that's just how it goes. It will not be the same next year because then I don't buy as much makeup as I do now. But today we're going to test out a new brand for me and that is Melt. Melt hasn't been available in Sweden. You can buy it from Melt Cosmetics in the US, I think. Yeah, you should. Uh, but Melt has come to Beauty Bay. I love that. I love Beauty Bay. Uh, my only wish now is that they will come with Colourpop. So this is the Radioactive Pigments. Mm. Pressed Pigments. Radioactive Stack pressed pigments and what I have read I think it's also on the box uh, two of the shadows are not approved for the eyes but I don't know because it's different rules in Sweden EU and the US and I think that the US is harder on some rules that Europe the, the EU is not I'm not sure but I am going to use this around my eyes so it's a radioactive stack and it looks like this I love this when I show this to my boyfriend he was like what's the big dealio and I like it's magnets so this is a stack and you can buy as many stacks as you want and put them together but this is the radioactive stack and it's four shades I think most of them contains four shades and in the lid it is a little mirror so we first have this orange shade that is called Radon. I want to say Radon because that is the Swedish name of it. And then we have the pink, the pink, the yellow one. This is absolutely my favorite and this is called Neon. And then we have the green and it's called Exxon. 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 Exxon in Swedish. Exxon. And then we have the radioactive. So I think I will use or I will use all of these four colors. And I think I will do a orange and yellow eye and a green and a pink eye. I like to do two different eyes. So I will do that and I think I will start with <laughs> these two. The radon and the neon. So I will have these on my right eye, I think. And I have swatched them. And this radon, it's very crumbly. And I have already done my base, as you can see. So I hope it will be okay. Because I don't really know. So I will start with an eyeshadow base. So I think I will start with radon and take it on my outer corner. And I don't know if I, I don't think I want to take it all the way in the crease. I think I want some of the yellow in my inner corner in the crease. Okay, I will start with this and I am so worried that this is going to be fallout. Let's have off the brush and... I don't know if this was one of the colors that wasn't suitable for eyes. Yeah, it's Radon, the orange one, and Radioactive. Pink one, that's not suitable for the eyes. I don't know how it is, but can you see this? This looks awesome! I didn't want this too high up in my crease. So, this is the first time I try Melt. I don't know if I said it or if you understood it, but this is the first time, try, time I try melt, and this looks amazing. I think the mirror is a little bit far away. I would like to have a little table in front of me where I could do my makeup, but I don't know if I have space for it. Or well, maybe I have, but 
I don't know where to put it when I'm not doing filming. I think my boyfriend is tired of me doing things like this. Okay, so this is the radon and this is super, super nice. It seems like it has a little bit of shimmer to it, I don't know, but this is a really nice color. Okay, and then I will take the neon and put it on my inner corner and I take a small, small brush. They are very... Very much kick up. Kick back, kick up. No. And I almost can't see what I'm doing. Mm. Okay, I think I have to move a little bit closer. Because the mirror is so low. Okay, I don't know if this brush was clean. Okay, so I will go in with this yellow here on my inner corner of the lid. And I got lots of fallouts. I hope I can take it away after this. So I think I will have it like this and then I take another brush and take the orange. Oh my lord. And put it here. This was not a good brush. That's better. But it's not a good brush for this. And I am not used to work with pressed pigments. I think I should not have done my base first because this legs fuck up the base. I really hope I can take the fallouts away. This is very neon and it's very... I think it looks pretty cool in the camera and it looks cool in real life as well. It's really... It's really popping. So, I will see if I can take away the fallout and then we will start with the next eye. Okay, so time for the other eye. And I put some loose powder here. I don't know if it's enough, but I hope it will stop it a little bit. So now we will take... Why do I always say we will take? I will take these two and I will start with the radioactive, this one. And I will... Use this, this as my, like I used the orange on this one, and the green as I used the pink. Now, yellow! And I used the same brushes, and I have, they have gone through my color swift. And that is like the best thing ever. Okay, I should have put the mirror there. I think I will look a little. Because it's lots of things. <laughs> oh, I am not that well organized as a person that I wish I would were. I just aren't. Okay, so this is also very easy to blend out. And it's like a Shut your face pink. And I I don't know with pinks if I like them or not. I can't decide but I think I like 
more like these pinks instead of the normal pink the little toned down pink I think I like this more and now we will take the green one and this is shimmer I think okay. I would take this brush that didn't work as good it was not the best one with the yellow but I think I think this will work I think I just took the pink a little too far in. But I will take this to do like that. And this green. This is also amazing. Okay, so these shadows they are really or these pressed pigments. They're really really easy to work with super easy this pink one it this pink one why do I have such troubles with colors this is a little I don't know if it's got some shimmer in it I think it do and it looks so cool this green one and that pink was so easy and now we're going with the green one Melt has been one of these brands for me that I want to try but I can't try it because it's so hard to get the hand off and that is pretty common for me when it comes to makeup that is not so big and not brands that are not big it's not like super available Brands in US that not that are not so big in the rest of the world. It's pretty hard to get a hand off if you don't live in the US. So this, that Beauty Bay is like the best thing that's happened to me makeup wise because they have so much brands and they are the only place where you can get these brands if you live in Europe. And I love that. And I will swoop this way and I didn't have any fallouts on this eye so that is good so for my under eyes I think I want to do exactly the same as on my lids because I think this look I dig this it was a long time ago I did this like two different eyes okay I have to be super concentrated for this one so I maybe not going to talk <laughs> at all so this is the finished look I have put on some mascara and also a little lipstick a little soft matte lip cream from NYX in Sao Paulo and I really love this look I think it's fun it's colorful and it's bold colors so I really like this um, it was a little bit hard to get the colors underneath my eyes to stick I think that they need a sticky base, but I have something, a little bit at least. So I really, really love these four colors. I wish, I thought I was going to like this the most, um, but I think the green one is my favorite. This is a super cool green. It's like, I don't really know what it's like. It's like a little metallic in somewhat, I don't know. It is just an awesome color. I really, really love this green. And the pink is also really, really, really good pink. This was really easy to work with and super opaque from start. And this yellow, I wanted it to be more like this. Like super, super yellow. It is a good yellow, but it's... I wanted something more. I wanted it to be like the green but a yellow in the same way if you understand what I mean and this orange this is the one I like the least this I think was most dependent on having a sticky base 
more than the others and it feels like this is going to be so dirty because I think it's because it's pigments they are going to be pretty it's going to be pretty dirty and it feels like when you I like this that they are stacked but it feels like every time you do like this it it's a pretty hard magnet and it feels like the shadow underneath is going to break yeah but but I like the way it's stacked maybe not the most good packaging but I really like those colors I am not going to do a free looks one free looks one stack with this because it's only four colors and I don't really know how much I can do with it but I have tried them all and I like the pink the green the pink and the green the most in formula wise and then the orange and the yellow all the colors are very very good they are easy to work with easy to blend with and they work really good but these two are my favorites so I am so happy that I bought this one it's going to be so fun to use this I don't think I'm going to use all four of them at the same time always maybe if I want to pop pop off a color or something in another look so I am really happy about this stack I don't know if I want to buy more stacks because this is the only one that has spoken to me because it is such fun colors so I really like these and this is my first drink for melt and I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please press like and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!